Okay, so there's other things we can do. When we're doing this technique, where we're working with one bar long regions with stacked drummers, and one or more of the drummers in the stack, their pattern is being created actually just by a one bar long fill. As we go through and try different fills, every time we tweak the fill control, we get a different fill. And as we listen to them, some of them work and some of them don't work at all. But some of them work, and as you listen, you think, well, that kind of works, but there's some of the drums in that fill that aren't working. Well, of course, you can always open up the drum machine designer for the track that's doing the fill pattern as part of the stack, and you can mute some of the drums that are in the fill. So I've got Magnus here doing this fill with this amount of fill control loudness and complexity. This is his fill. Now when I layer that in it don't work so good. But if I mute the ride that's in this fill by just muting the ride on the drum machine designer for this track, I mute the ride. Now the ride is missing from the fill. Right? Now there's a second kick in there, a deep yeah, this kick here. Let's mute that kick so the kick isn't playing in the fill either. Now we just got the second snare here playing, right? And the two beep sounds, this high and low bleep. Now let's hear that in with the pattern. Now the fill works really nicely with the pattern, with the other two drummers holding down the beat with regular patterns. Or I could take out the bleeps completely. So we just have the snare part of the roll of the fill only, this snare. That's the only drum that's active now in this fill. So you can do that technique, right? Um, let's go back and unmute all these drums. Uh, let me switch to Julian. I'll switch this drummer here to Julian. And that snare pattern I just got with Magnus, by the way, you can't get that from Magnus or any of the other club type drummers. Okay, now I've got Julian on the track. Let's un take all his drums off. And we're just going to build a pattern <clears throat> for Julian with just fills, right, across one bar. So you go through the fills. Let's see what we can find. Right, there's a pattern fill, right? But I don't want the kick in it. This is the pattern fill. So what I do is open the drum machine designer and mute the kick. And now I just get the clap part of the fill only. The kick's been muted. And now I've got a clap pattern, which is actually a fill pattern, but I've turned off the kick so only the clap is playing as the part of the fill. I cannot get this clap pattern from Julian or any other electronic drummer. Right, there's one. Let's, let's try another one. Let's unmute this kick. There's another fill, but let's mute the kick so just the rim shot plays. Let's hear that. Okay, so the the entire fill is kick, rim shot, and clap. This is it soloed. I shall mute the kick and the clap, so only the rim shot, this second snare here, is playing in the fill. And now blend that in with my regular beat. Again, I can't get that rim shot pattern out of Julian or any of the other drummers. So we can use this further technique of muting some of the drums in the fills that we discover, which gives us a, a whole new load of fill patterns we can layer with more regular beats when we're doing this one bar technique. Yeah, that's another thing you can do.